Hello there, and welcome back to the Botanus Garden Club. I'm Pam. And I'm Elka. And today, Elka and I are extremely excited. <laughs> extremely. Because not only do we get to talk about gardening, but we get to talk about one of our favorite things, one of our favorite hobbies, mm -hmm. and that's beekeeping Bee and bees. Our mm -hmm. girls. That's right, our <laughs> ladies. We love them. Um, we actually met a very interesting and wonderful individual a number of years ago. His name is Carson Arthur, and we love Carson. We love Carson, mm -hmm. and I'm sure a lot of you guys already know him from yes. HGTV. Yeah, Home to Win. He's the landscape guy. He's also on City Line, and he does uh, many television and radio appearances. He's a real garden guru, and as I said, we met him a number of years ago. And if you uh, are familiar with Carson, you'll get why Elka's wearing that lovely... In honor <laughs> of the plaid guy. Because <laughs> he's known for his plaid, so Elka decided to do her homage to Carson today and wear her plaid shirt. <laughs> um, but getting back to our beekeeping, Carson is also a beekeeper, and we were chatting actually just last year about the plight of bees and what we could do collectively in a partnership to really help bees. But in fact, we're going to be helping you at the same time. Yeah, we're mm -hmm. interested in plants, we're interested in gardening, we're interested in bees. How can we connect this all together yeah, exactly. and help each other? Exactly. So we actually caught up with Carson at the BC Home and Garden Show recently, and we'd just like to show you a little bit of our conversation with him. So uh, let's have a look at that. Well, hello, Carson hello. Arthur. Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and welcome to Vancouver. Thank you. I'm so glad to be back. It feels like a second home to be at this end of Canada. Yes. You, well, this is a guy who gets around Canada a lot, actually North America. But we're glad to have him here in Vancouver for the BC Home and Garden Show. And I'm not sure if you folks know, but we actually paired up with Carson to bring you a very special garden that has something to do with bees. Absolutely. All my time on HGTV and CityLine, I'm constantly being asked from viewers about the plight of the honeybees. Right. And specifically in Canada, but also in North America. Now we are paying attention to what's happening to our bee populations because of pesticides and the introduction of different plant species that they're not used to. They're causing a lot of havoc in the bee population, but at the same time, we're also part of the problem. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, the gardens that we plant in our perennial beds all bloom early in the spring, and we right. don't have enough plants that bloom later. Yeah. And bees need food at the end of the season, August yeah. and September. That's what they use to overwinter. Mm -hmm. So I've worked with you guys to put together a collection of plants for you that will bloom in your perennial beds at the end of the summer usually when there's nothing else going on. Exactly, and isn't that a win-win situation? I mean, you've got stuff blooming in the early spring, late spring, early summer. Well, why not have some things blooming in late summer and into the fall? And we've got some really great plants in this collection. We've got a, a late blooming aster, beautiful pink jenny, and there's liatris. One of my a, favorites. Yeah, it's a great one. Of course, there's the white echinacea, which is also a little bit fragrant. It's called white swan. It's just beautiful. And it's a vintage variety, which I love. It's an heirloom variety. Mm -hmm. These plants aren't just good for the bees and the pollinated species. They're also good for your space, too. Yeah. I specifically selected them because they're the best showcased plants for late season. These are the perennials you want at the end of the year to really amp up your own perennial garden. That's right. And they'll be around for years because they are perennials. So if you're interested in helping your garden be beautiful during the late summer and early autumn and you're interested in helping the pollinators, make sure you order Carson's Bee Garden Collection. You can get it at botanis.com. Visit our website and order it there. We'll deliver it to you this spring and you'll be enjoying it for years. Yeah, do something good for the bees, but also do it for yourself. It's a little treat that keeps on giving. That's right. What, what Carson said at the end there is totally true. I mean, do it for the bees. Yes, of course, do it for the bees. But you know what? Do it for yourself as well, because these plants really are amazing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All of the ones in this collection, they're colorful. Uh, they're perennials. Perennials, so they'll come back year after year. They're pretty much easy care. Yeah. I mean, the color, uh, when we say colorful, it's not just it looks nice here on the on the package. It's we are always looking for colors in our garden. Mm -hmm. And we, we stretched it out. We made sure that you also have color later in the season. Yeah. A lot of the stuff, like the, um, mm -hmm. the aster, is a late-blooming variety. And I often think, you know, a lot of stuff blooms in the summer, and then it's all, go uh, all gone. Right. And then we are all struggling, and so do the bees, by the way. Mm -hmm. So we said, okay, 
okay, make sure we have color in the fall and we also have something for the bees in, in the later right. uh, season. Exactly. Now we touched briefly on three of the varieties that are in the collection, but there's actually five. So we talked with Carson, or I talked with Carson. Elka was actually filming, <laughs> <laughs> so she was there. And Wendy was there too, behind camera. Um, but we talked about the Aster Jenny. We talked about the Liatris, mm -hmm. the, the, uh, the Echinacea. That, yes, and the Echinacea white swan. But we didn't get a chance to talk about the other two. Now, one of them is called Agastache Blue Fortune, which is commonly known as Giant Hyssop. Mm -hmm. And it is a real bee magnet. Oh my gosh. When those dark sort of purpley blue blooms come into flower, mid to late summer and into the autumn, they will be covered with bees. And I love to actually watch bees on plants, mm -hmm. especially it's at that time of year. Yeah. I know some people are maybe a little bit hesitant, but I can tell you that bee, she is all she's interested in is what that flower is going to give her because they are foraging for food at that time of year and they really want to build up their winter store. So they could give two hoots about you. Uh, they love to be on the plants, especially if you're a photographer, you can get great bee shots. Exactly. At that time yeah. Don't of be year. scared of bees. They don't, they, just remember, they die after they sting you so they have no interest in stinging you yes. other than they feel threatened by you so if yeah. you just sit there and watch them it's, yeah. it's, it's great and this plant the agastache will give you the prime opportunity to really watch them because they are really covered with mm -hmm. bees in the uh, summer and late late summer and into the autumn the leaves actually smell like one of my favorite things licorice Mm -hmm. Yeah, not so my thing. I mean, yeah. the licorice, the flower, yes. But yes, the, the flower, licorice. yes, not the licorice. <laughs> uh, and all of the uh, the flowers, actually, and the leaves are edible. So that's another kind of cool thing. The bees will eat them. Maybe you'll want to eat a little bit of it, too. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Uh, anyways, that is included in this collection, but we have one more to talk about. Yeah, too. and that is actually what I like more, which is kind of uh, the Earl Grey fragrance mm -hmm. of the Monada Petite Delight. Mm -hmm. So Earl Grey, well, come on. I mean, yeah, it smells good. It yeah, smells like smells bergamot. Good. Yeah, mm, bergamot. It's, yeah. Exactly. So that's a lovely, lovely flower. Nice pink, nice bushy. I like to plant them in, in big b mm -hmm. bunches because it is, it's is—it's the mass that, yeah. that makes it again for those flowers. Absolutely, so. absolutely. Well, this collection, Carson's Bee Garden Collection, comes with a total of 32 perennial plants. Remember, they're going to come back year after year. Easy to grow. They're on sale, or this collection rather, is on sale this year, Botanis this spring. For only twenty nine ninety five, you're gonna say thirty five. Yeah, that is a deal. Seriously. Yeah, that is a serious deal. <laughs> and of course, we will be shipping these to you in the spring season according to your climate zone, so you get them at the right time for planting. Mm -hmm. But we've got a great surprise for you because one of you out there who is watching this right now is actually going to win one well, of these collections. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lucky person. But we're not just going to give it away for free. <laughs> you know, that's sort we of make how you we work. Yeah, we make you work for <laughs> it a little bit. What we want you to do is answer the following question. Okay, so what hobby does Carson Arthur have in common with us? Mm -hmm. Which hobby is that? Send that answer to where? To garden club at botanus.com. That's right. And tomorrow we are going to do a random draw. And as I said, one lucky garden club viewer is going to then win this collection. And we'll let you know so you can get all excited <laughs> about, you know, having some bees come to your garden. Yeah. And also, of course, about the plants. Exactly. It's about the plants, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Elka. Thank, thank you, you for your homage. Yeah, I, I hope uh, yes. he appreciates that. That's I'm sure he will. For him. I'm sure he mm -hmm. will. I'm sure that Carson's watching this. Hi, Carson. Hi, Carson. Thank you again <laughs> for seeing us uh, at the BC Home and Garden Show. And we hope to see all of you next week again in the Botanist Garden Club. Until then, we hope you keep things buzzing and happy <laughs> and thinking about your spring garden. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.